And then the entire front facing, um, what's that called? The border thing is all gonna be, be maple as well so that it will fit in the space and actually really look like it's supposed to be there. So yesterday with the hinges cut and fit into place, today started out with just making this gap a little bit nicer. So to fix that little bit of a gap, I just did a quick run on these boards through my planer, taking off like maybe a 64th, just like a hair, just a hair. Unfortunately, that didn't get recorded, but this is how it turned out. Okay, so we got everything jointed and cleaned up. Like, can you tell there's a gap? Cause I kind of can't. No gap. So with that all taken care of, I could start the milling process and really making all of these funky little cuts and rabbits and dados and things. I decided to start first with the hinge side that was going to go against the bookcase because that seemed the most logical, as all of the other pieces will build off of it. So what that's gonna do is actually give us um, the lift on the bookcase from the other hinge. It's gonna be flush, right? Okay. Clamps, more clamps. So this is what it's gonna be like. Nice and flush, all the way down. This will get sucked in. It will flush up, don't worry. But then this is what we're gonna deal with. We need to go into here so the hinge has a spot to sit. So we'll be doing that on all four of those. Those cut out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is mark out where I want everything. And yeah, more tape. The hinge is here, it's here, top to bottom. I'm gonna do one inch on either side of the hinge, all the way down, and then we're gonna split the difference and we're gonna do one more in the middle of each hinge. The hinges aren't set exactly even to each other, because we have this one, which is eight to 10 inches from the top. That one, which is eight to 10 inches from the bottom. This one is the midpoint and then halfway between this distance. And then this one is the midpoint and a quarter of that distance. Yeah. So we'll figure out some spacing. We'll make sure the screws look nice. I got some number 12 inch and a half screws. So they're pretty beefy. They got a nice thread on them and that should because there's gonna be about a dozen of them. Hold on. Uh, we do have covers. So we just have those little sticker covers. It'll get covered up. Maybe you'll notice, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, let's got the hinge in. Uh, this side?
So if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm using what's called the trenching feature, which is available on most miter saws. Effectively, you can set a depth of cut and it will stop your cut. So you don't need to go all the way through. You might end up with a little cleanup at the end, but it's a whole lot better than trying to run this kind of piece through the table saw or doing the entire thing by hand because I'm lazy and who wants to do it by hand? Both those sides on. Look pretty good. And do our cross section next, and then we'll do this border, and then we'll do that one. Speaking of those, I did mill up all of those pieces. Magic. At this point, we're taking it all apart because we have to. So I have these little tips at the top that all need to be cut off and I'm going to dado rabbit something out so I can put this piece inset into there because I'm crazy. Uh, I just think it will give a little more strength if it's glued in place. Have to wrap it out a channel here. I have to trim down these back pieces. So we just have stuff to do. So, so we need to cut it here. Once that's cut, that will then line up with this. Then we need to cut out this piece. So it's flush with here. That's what we're going to start with. So a lot of things have happened. So we're going to get this piece in, which is a really fun piece. Oh, and you don't drop it because it's like, it's like a puzzle. Boom. Look at that. It's going to be not the best glue joint. And I know this, but it's really just there for looks. The last piece to get done. It's gonna be this one. There we go. Oh, boom. There we go. There's a bookcase. Oh, sanding day. Okay, so uh, things are happening. Um, we are applying stain and I am making a mess. I've already dropped my knife into the stain, which was great. All right. So I got three coats to finish on yesterday, and this thing is so smooth. It's looking, it's looking great. It's feeling great. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm gonna pop the face frame back on. I'm gonna put the hinges on. I'm gonna do all that stuff. I'm gonna get this thing stood back up. because I need this stood up so that I can start working on the latching mechanism and see where that's gonna line up and how that is going to work. I really need to fix this pocket. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no. So guess, guess what's in here? Uh, yeah. That just happened. 
awesome.